Oh my gosh, I'm feeling ritzy. <gasps> this is really, really pretty. Imagine if I was this tall. <laughs> hey everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be <laughs> getting in touch with our roots. <laughs> Listen, I just recently took on the painstaking task of going through my filming stuff. I showed you guys it in the last studio, but I don't think I've shown you in this studio, but it's basically a room that's jam packed full of things that I've bought for videos. So if the zombie apocalypse was to happen, I could still make videos for quite a few months cause I've got like lots of stock in there. It gives me peace of mind. Like I found quite a few bins from like 2018 when I was buying things on Wish. I I found some crazy wigs from 2019 when I was all into trying crazy wigs. Crazy heels from when I was on my crazy heel game. And I kind of realized that I still have a lot of items from those times, but I don't know if I would do that exact video. So I thought, could we take pieces from each and put it into one video and just make a crazy haul. The most extra, the most unrealistic, the most insane haul of items. So if you liked the wish videos, if you liked the wig videos, if you liked the crazy high heel videos, stay tuned for this video. So I picked out six random storage room items and as you can see, this is going to be a fun filled video. So let's get into it. Okay, the first item we're gonna get into, these are some shoes that I bought off Etsy. This is a small business. The seller of this was so attentive. I actually had to tell a little white lie, which actually has been weighing on me so heavily. A few weeks after I received these, she was like, how do you like them? Do you love them? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I love them. They turned out perfectly. But as you can see, they're still in the box. So I kind of lied, but I have a really good feeling about it. So it was for the common good. Okay, ready? Oh my gosh, it's a cake shoe. Look at that. <gasps> the woman was too stunned to speak. This is my new favorite thing. Look at all of that detail. I am so obsessed with this type of shoe. I've seen it everywhere and like, I wanna make a pair of these. This is everything. Also, can I just say that this tissue paper is so cute? The hoarder in me definitely wants to keep that. Now you're probably understanding why it is so important for us to go through the video storage because these were just sitting in there for years. Like that is a crime. Take me to jail. That's a crime. Let's try them on. All right. We're in a little bit of a new setup right now. Where I normally film is like in the corner. You can see probably a little bit of the curtain there. This is just over to the side. I clean out this corner. It's not finished, obviously. There's gonna be lots of decorations back here, but I have seen your guys' comments about saying that full body shots don't work very well in that corner. I'm hoping it'll be better for the full body. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. <gasps> Okay, I haven't walked in heels in a hot minute, so let me just like get my bearings. Oh my goodness. Here they are on feet. They are so cute. Like anybody who sees these, I tend to think these would brighten their mood. Cake feet. I really wanted to do mainly chocolate because I'm a chocolate gal. I love the chocolate cake, chocolate ice cream. So I guess I did tell a little bit of a white lie because I hadn't opened the shoes yet but it turns out that they are amazing. So what I said is totally true, so it's okay. It just took a few years. Okay, the next item we have, this I believe came from Wish. This was back when I was shopping on Wish. And I know I've seen your comments of the people who are disappointed that I don't do any more Wish videos. And I'm trying to figure out a way to incorporate some of these Wish products I've already bought into videos for the people who really like those. And maybe this is gonna do it. This is a Wish product. I have literally no idea what it is. And I didn't want to open it. I thought we'd just have the surprise on camera. It's light blue. It looks like a dress. Oh my gosh, this is cute. What, when did I buy this? I'm sorry. This probably seems so bad that I don't even remember purchasing this, but you have to understand, like I made two videos a week back then and I was constantly having to get things for the videos. So it's pretty easy five years later to not remember buying this. Okay, here is what it looks like. It's got these thin little straps at the top. This kind of like silk looking top chiffon. 
I still don't know fabrics. A floral applique? What in the professional lingo was that, Mia? I love this blue and the quality is correct. Like the stitching looks good. Let's put this thing on. Okay, let's jump into this. Like old time sakes. Oh my gosh, this is such a cute dress. Look at this. Look at this train moment. I feel like it would look even better if I steamed it. <laughs> That's what I say in every video, yet where's the steamer that I don't have? Hello, I'm sorry to interrupt, but my sticker sheet just launched. I have been working on this for longer than I'm willing to admit, but I am so excited to say these are finally launched. They're $6.99 US. The website should convert it into your currency. These are all hand-drawn pieces of some of my favorite things. We've got the pottery cup that I made, the purple turtleneck that I wear all the time. So even if you're uninterested in purchasing stickers, I would really appreciate if you went over to the website, miamaplesmarket.com, and told me what you think of the website. And there's also a really cute picture of Chip with a sticker on his nose just to entice you further. Really hope you guys like the product and my eyes and ears are open to any critiques you may have. And yes, I won't ramble on. We'll get back to the video. I just had to say that. Oh my gosh, look at that though. I don't know what I was expecting. I guess I just have naturally over time got a low expectation when it comes to wish prom dresses. Like I know we've had a few cute ones, but I would say this is in the top five for sure. The quality looks really, really good. I think that you could totally wear this as your prom dress. Definitely a grade eight grad, that's for sure. I think this dress is a wild and crazy success. Like it's got a nice, pretty train. I think it actually looks even more expensive once I have it on. Granted, I don't know what the price was. I'll try to figure it out. I think it's really nice. I like how it's actually short under here and then it's got the sheer tool on top. Let's see how it spins. It spins in a way that it's tangling around my feet, like a net. I also think the neckline is really flattering. I think it's pretty to have this sort of like square neckline here with the really thin straps. Oh, it's pretty. This is a nice dress. My wig trying videos are probably some of my favorite videos to try. I love wigs so much. And you know what? I actually haven't even put on a wig since I cut my hair. So this is gonna be so easy to get over my little hair. Cause before you guys remember, I had to shove all my hair into the wig cap and it was a whole thing. So this is gonna be so easy. This wig is from Etsy. It was pretty pricey, but you will be able to tell why because it is literally the most beautiful wig of life and it matches my turtleneck. I mean, take a peek. Look at that. Look at all of that detail, the rhinestones here. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Look in the back at these little pieces in the back. They're so cute. And I mean like the colors are just so beautiful, like your pastel unicorn fantasy in a wig. I may never take it off. Well, well, well. If it isn't, Mia with a bald cap on. <laughs> okay, let's put it on. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling ritzy. <gasps> Who am I? I need a drag persona. I need a drag name. Oh. Oh my gosh. The beautiful thing about wigs is you can choose how big your forehead is. Like, hello, today I want a two head. I didn't even plan this, by the way. The earrings and the turtleneck and this blue dress sitting in the back. The color story is fully realized and completely by accident. Look at this. Let me give you the full turn. And by full turn, I mean 180 because that's all my neck will do. Okay, so apparently I was gonna do like another my mom reacts to crazy fashion Nova items, but I must never have done it. And I think that's where this came from. All right, what do we got? Oh, it's a two piece. The top actually looks exciting. The sequins are actually not too pokey. Oh wait, what? Look how long the sleeve is. Okay, that changed everything. Some mini skirt right there. I mean, we'll see what it looks like on. Oh my gosh, you know what this reminds me of? That Alyssa Edwards dance battle where she got absolutely annihilated <laughs> because of the sleeves. I mean, the top is like a little bit ill-fitting. I'm like trying to figure out why it's gapping here. And then I remember it's because I have no boobage, which is fine, but it is making some gapping right here. But it's actually comfortable and flattering and really cute. I think I just have to do a little bit of adjusting on the top here. And it's so 
sparkly. I mean, just take a moment to be mesmerized by the sparkles and the long arms. Slender man, but make it glamour. I used to be so scared of Slender Man, like it wasn't even funny. I never even saw a photo of him, I just heard about it and I was horrified. I couldn't do anything. We used to have like a sledding hill out back from our house and I would go out there and I would like, I was convinced Slender Man lived in that sledding hill. Anyway though, I give this a 10 out of 10. Now this I bought because I was gonna do a comparing Kylie and Kendall Jenner remix like I did in this one video, but I couldn't find very many remakes. I could only find like two or something. So it's this white off the shoulder jumpsuit. I'll put a photo. I believe it was Kendall wearing it. This was Kendall Jenner's Met Gala 2018 look. And here's what it looks like. It's got all of this ruching at the top. One thing I'll say, there is no like corset detailing. So I think that's definitely missing. Look at the shape of that. So yeah, right now it just looks like a white blob. Let me put it on and see if we transform into Kendall, the highest paid model in the world, I think. I'm not sure if that stat is true or if I just see that on Instagram all the time. Oh my goodness. This would be like the most killer wedding look, like for maybe a more unconventional bride who wants to wear pants. Okay, also the elephant in the room, I am wearing a dark gray thong. I thought I was really doing something by wearing a thong for my try on video because you know, Thongs aren't comfortable, so I was really taking one for the team, but it's dark gray. So we're like halfway there. I probably should have wore a my nude thong, but can we just look past it? This is skin tight. Like this is really hugging every single curve. Also, it's showing maybe a little bit too much. I don't know if it's just the thong, every bump, every nook, every cranny, it's being hugged. These are the heels that I got for 70 cents at the Goodwill bins. If you haven't seen that video, I suggest checking it out because I got some cute stuff. Like, look at that, 70 cents. Okay, I'm gonna put these, oh yeah, that definitely completes the look. It's actually high-low pants. I gotta say what we're all thinking. It's a little casual. Two seconds later. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness. You know what I'm totally gonna do? I'm gonna dye this green and then I'm gonna wear it. Because I feel like if it's a different color, nobody will know that it's a remake. And if it's a different color, then I won't feel so worried about spilling on it. Okay, I'm definitely dyeing this. What color should we dye it? Okay, so the moment we've all been waiting for. Now, if I break my leg, I am literally going to be so upset for so many reasons, but some things are just more important in life like wearing these. I know we tried the really, really high pink ones and those ones were a lot harder to walk in than these ones I imagine because these ones are a boot. Like boots historically are easier to walk in. History. What did you learn in history class? I learned that boot heels are easier to walk in. I can't even wear a kitten heel for like two hours without complaining endlessly. So I really get to live my fantasy in these videos because like, come on, that's crazy. My emotional support sweater is on. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. I'm having flashbacks. Mom! I need you! Why am I scared? I need help. <laughs> you do need help because you also need help because you have straw in your hair. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> My little mom. <laughs> I'm jealous of your Skechers, girl. <laughs> like honestly, is this a joke? Do people wear these? Yes. Are we being punked right now? <laughs> I'm snerving. Imagine if I was this tall. That would be so and weird. And we just like went out in public. <laughs> Ow, okay, people have told me if I keep my weight in like the ball of my foot, oh. then you don't, like you don't want to support. Wait, hold on. Hey, you're actually doing it. Wait a minute, I'm serving. Now sissy that wow. 
a thought about it too. Okay. When you're at a parade, clowns are on stilts yeah. and they're able to walk around. Like, what is the difference of this? Okay, this is my last time <laughs> dealing with the clown buffoonery. <laughs> clowns are trained. They have always been in like five to like 40 years of clown training. People who think that clowns aren't working and haven't worked for their job and aren't talented are wrong. Clowns are, <laughs> clowns are hard workers. You're doing awesome. <laughs> Wasn't that interesting? If you enjoyed the craziness that was today's video and all of the crazy pieces, let me know. We can basically make this a series that's called I went into my storage room and grabbed random pieces and made a video and hopefully it worked out. Did it work out? I feel like we found some cute pieces, like the pink sequin two-piece and the remake of the Kendall Jenner med look. Those are really cute. One thing I really like and hope this will be a series is because all of these items have already been purchased and manufactured, so I'd really like to put them to use in some way for entertainment for the videos because they literally are already here. Like I'm not buying anything new for these videos. These are all things I've purchased in the past. Does it ever get old trying on crazy high heels and almost breaking your ankle. It doesn't get old for me. I could do it every day and I will happily if you want to see it. Anyways though, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe down below and click the bell to be notified every time I upload and I will see you guys in the next one.